Feeding back the interpretation of the scores can be a chance to help the young person feel listened to. Here we join Kelsey for a second session. She has already identified goals for therapy in session one. So Kelsey, I've scored up the checklist that you did for me last session and I thought you might like to see uh, what information came back. Yeah. Um, so this is just one way of checking in about how you're feeling. So it goes along with what you're telling us. Yeah. Um, and the checklist scores suggest that low mood is, is really around for you at the moment and also that um, some worries are around a little bit. Yeah, um, and your score for low mood in particular is higher than the average score of young people your age. So it suggests that that might be something that you would like a bit of help with. Mm -hmm. um, how does that fit with you? Does that uh, seem to fit with what you, what you talked yeah. about last week? Yeah, the worst is always the, the sort of sadness and then anxiety, but this week's been a bit better for anxiousness. Okay, okay, I'm well, glad to hear that. Um, I, it sort of fits with what you talked about wanting to work on in our sessions last week, I think, about wanting to work on low mood. Um, uh, is there anything you're surprised about in, in this no, checklist and no. the scores? That seems about right. Um, I think my mum might be a bit surprised though. Okay, I think your mum might be surprised by the scores. Yeah. Um, in what way do you think your mum would be surprised? Mm -hmm.